Hi, my name is Tony Elizabeth and this is my video blog on how to adapt and excel in our changing world. Today I want to talk to you about the transformative effects of gratitude. I want to give you the why of gratitude and I also want to show you an exercise that you can do every day to make sure that you're in that happy state. Robert Emmons, professor at the University of California, Davis, has studied gratitude for over a decade and its effects on our physical health, psychological well-being and on our social relationships with others. What Mr. Evans and his colleagues have found are, is that uh, the effects of gratitude uh, are amongst others release of stress, better immune system, less aches and pains, we're uh, feeling better, we're also able to better socialize, being more outgoing and also uh, it's a depressive uh, uh, reducer, so less depressed. So why does gratitude and exercising gratitude have these effects? What they have seen is that gratitude and exercising gratitude it uh, releases a lot of positive emotions. It also blocks toxic feelings. You're not able to be angry and grateful at the same time or envious of others and grateful at the same time. It also reduces stress and gives you a higher self-worth. So now that I've told you the why of gratitude, I'll give you the how. I'll give you two tips on how to exercise gratitude. First of all, you might want to write um, down what you are grateful for, either every day or once a week, that you sum up five things or ten things. Don't make it a big uh, deal, but just something that you're grateful for that week. It might be just sitting in the sun enjoying a great cappuccino or it might be enjoying uh, time with your kids and your family. Anything that you might feel grateful for. Another thing that you might want to do is something I've been doing uh, last three years, trying to do it every day. Sometimes I forget, but it's very, very powerful. So you might want to close your eyes during this exercise or you want to have them open, that's up to you. I will now take you on a journey of gratitude. First of all, I want you to feel your breathing and feel your heart. Feel how strong your heart is. Something thought enough of you to give you this heart and as long as it beats, you're alive. Be grateful for what it's guided you to do. Be grateful for it giving you life. Physically feel your heart. Now I want you to step into a moment that you can feel deep feelings of gratitude, gratitude for. It might be any moment, it might have happened by coincidence with family or friends. Step into that moment and feel what you felt then. See what you saw then. Now bring two or three other moments, see what you saw then, feel what you felt then. It might be something that made you laugh so much that you had milk coming up your nose or just enjoying a great day out. Bring them in, feel what you felt then, see what you saw then. Next, 
I want you now to think about a moment of pride. Something or someone that made you feel proud. Might be yourself, might be one of your kids, might be anything. Breathe and stand the way you feel when you feel proud. See what you saw then. Feel what you felt. As a last step, I want you to think about the future. Bring in moments of joy and pleasure and gratitude from the future. Like getting an advanced deal of what's coming. See it happening. Be grateful for it happening. How do you feel now as opposed to some moments ago? Can you feel the effect of gratitude? I certainly can. I hope you can as well. If you like this video, please feel free to share it. And please do share your moments of gratitude with me. I would love to hear all about them. Until next time, I wish you a week filled with gratitude. Much love. Bye.